And speaking of exposing the truth, Republicans in the House have finally seen the contents of that House Intel report on the Fusion GPS dossier and the Mueller special counsel investigation. And apparently, it is a blockbuster. I read today in that, uh, in that classified briefing room is as bad as I thought it was, and every single American citizen should have the ability to see that information to know exactly what our FBI was up to. Will it shock the conscience of the American people? Sean, it shocked me. I compared it to, I remember the day I walked in two years ago on the Benghazi committee, walked in and saw the immunity agreements that were given to people in the Clinton investigation. I didn't know who they'd given them to. I opened up that folder and I looked down and the Justice Department official slid that folder over to me on that table and looked down and see they gave Cheryl Mills immunity during the Clinton investigation, Clinton's chief of staff, her lawyer. Today when I read the material, I had that same shock feeling. I was like, wait a minute, this actually happened from our Justice Department and this FBI. That's how serious this is. That's why we're calling on every bit of that information we got to see today to be made public for you to see, for journalists to see, most importantly, for the American people to see. Matt Gates, you saw these materials today. You agreeing with Jim Jordan? Because it sounds like a few people decided they wanted to fix, not only they fixed it so Hillary wouldn't get in trouble on the email server scandal, we know felonies were committed, she fixed the primary, rigged the primary. Sounds like they're fixing and rigging here a general election or to overturn an election. And, you know, I mean, whatever word you want to describe that. Fixing, well, Sean, rigging, a coup, I don't know. Yeah, you are describing the very elements of a palace coup. And after Jim and Mark Meadows and many others of us reviewed the intelligence information today, it is abundantly clear that the entire Mueller investigation is a lie built on a foundation of corruption. And what is so important is that we get this information into the public square. Yeah. The best disinfectant for this corruption is going to be sunshine, and that's why Jim Jordan and I have joined many other members of Congress in calling for this information to be released for the review of all of the American people. You know, Sean, when you've been on this show each and every night making claims about the bias and the corruption and the deep state, people have accused you and your guests of being tinfoil hat folks, lone voices in the wilderness. This critical intelligence information will vindicate the claims that have been made by so many, and it is absolutely essential that we share it with all Americans. That's what we're fighting for in the Congress. It was probably used in advance of the election so that it would be leaked and harm Donald Trump so that he wouldn't win. I mean, think about the consequences of that. The FBI and the Department of Justice trying to do something so underhanded, illegal, and nefarious, and abusing their power to try to alter the election and then thereafter continue on with a fictitious collusion investigation into Donald Trump to try to remove him from office. Mm -hmm. It's an unconscionable, mm -hmm. inconceivable abuse so of power. So the, the biggest national scandal by far in our lifetime. Joining us now with more information, Congressman Jim Jordan and Matt Gates, and Fox News contributor Sarah Carter. Sarah, all right, let me ask all three of you yes or no, am I over the target? And that there has been a real attempt to undermine this president, and it has come from the scariest of places. Some of the very people we've been talking about will be exposed, and the key reason that all Americans need to see this memo is that it names names. It says who was involved with who, how different actors and characters we've heard about interacted with one another, and that is the type of information that we need all Americans to see immediately. I think it's far worse than what I, I believed could have happened. And from what I've been told, senior government officials may be removed from office, may be fired. I don't know how far this will go. I also want a lot of those questions answered. Sean, who was in relationship to who when it came to these FISA warrants? How did they operate with one another? What were these really egregious actions that took place that only this memorandum uh, and report can tell us? And I've been watching my Twitter feed, and I've been watching Twitter all day, and I'm seeing how hashtag release the documents, hashtag release the documents everywhere. And the American public deserves to know the truth here. This should never happen in a country as great as the United States of America. And we need every single American to take a look at this and see what exactly their government did, their law enforcement division did. This is, this is that kind of information and it needs to be public as soon as possible. Uh, I think that this will not end just with firings. I believe there are people who will go to jail. Does Mueller need to disband? 
And does Absolutely. He need to this do was it? a lie built on corruption, built on a sham. The entire investigation is a fiction. It's a fallacy. And when the American people see how this began, when the American see people see how different people interacted with one another, how organizations were infected and infiltrated and subjected to tremendous bias of individuals and how that really played out, I think that every American will understand how absolutely ludicrous it is that we continue to allow the Mueller probe to go forward. It needs to end because the entire basis is a lie. Compare it to Watergate. Well, it's a horrible abuse of power. It's an attempt to completely undermine electoral democracy and simultaneously uh, obstruct justice, subverting justice. It, it is much bigger than Watergate. It's, it's a bombshell. It suggests that the entire investigation was bogus from the start, uh, that apparently this fake dossier that the Democrats paid for, uh, they took that to the FISA court, and the FISA court uh, executed warrants, which then allowed them to survey uh, members of the Trump uh, campaign. And you and I would not be having this conversation, and Trump would not have been spending 10 months of his administration uh, fending this stuff. The intelligence memo that we have just read is so alarming that it must be immediately disclosed to the American people. This dossier, this Fusion GPS dossier, was a campaign-generated document paid for by the Democrats. And if it was used to justify spying on anyone associated with Donald Trump, heads should roll. Joining us now from Washington are two House members who have seen these classified documents, Raul Labrador of Idaho and Andy Biggs of Arizona. We're also joined by Fox News contributor Byron York, who has been extensively covering the Russia probe and this dossier issue. Gentlemen, it's great to see you tonight. Um, Congressman Labrador, I want to start with you. I started getting calls. I'm here on the West Coast, but I started getting calls about this at about, I don't know, 6.30 in the morning Pacific time. Uh, by congressmen who started to read this report. And they didn't reveal anything they weren't supposed to, but they said, Laura, whatever you do, the people have to know what is in this. This has to get declassified. Tell us how we can declassify it and whatever you can tell us about uh, what's inside. Great, Laura. And thanks for having me on your show. This is so important. And, and it's important for your viewers to know that the House has the authority to release this information. We don't have to declassify it. House Rule 10, and this is something that I think we're going to talk about a lot over the next few weeks. House Rule 10 allows the select committee to release the information based on the public interest. If they believe that the information is important enough, to the public that is of vital uh, importance to the public, they can release it. So all we need to do is have a vote from the House, and the House Select Committee can do that. Uh, and, and I think we need to do that immediately. I heard, again, four people, uh, congressmen, uh, this morning, and people very high up in the Justice Department and the FBI could very well lose their jobs if this report goes public. So, Congressman, you had to go into that super secret skiff room there at the Capitol to read it. And I know you can't really tell us what was in it, but you can tell us generally what it's about, right? I mean, your feelings regarding what is contained in it. Sure. I mean, I'm reading it, and it's a very succinct, straightforward memo. And there were a couple times as I'm reading this thing where I'm just like shaking my head. You've got to be kidding me. I can't believe they did that. Uh, so I think it's something that is really significant. I think that the American people need to see it. Uh, there's growing support in the House to make this public so that the American people can see. And here's the thing. The memo's done in such a way where you can easily make it public. There aren't, uh, it's classified top secret, but there aren't sources and methods here. So I don't think that would be a problem. Let's get that right. out there so the American people can see how this whole collusion thing was going on during the during the campaign does it uh, can you say this does it help us answer this question did the Obama administration use Intel from the dossier uh, from Chris Steele specifically to surveil Trump officials I think that's one of the central uh, issues in the memo and I definitely want all Americans to be able to read uh, what actually happened in that respect